Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome back to another Fly Tying Friday. Tonight I'll be tying a two-tone Copper John. It's going to be black and copper wire. And I'm starting off with a 2.8 millimeter bead from Allen. It's just a black nickel finish. And a few wraps of 0 .015 lead wire to hold that bead up tight. And we're starting off with some 6 aught black thread. And we'll be putting in some brown by it for the tail, goose by it. So we're just going to take two off. So once we select our two by we're going to want to reverse them so the curves are uh, facing away from each other. If you see that, they're splayed apart. And I'm also going to make a little bit of a thread bump here at the back just so it gives them a little ramp to kind of splay out. And we're going to tie these on either side of the hook shank. And that hook shank is also going to help them splay out too. Okay, and we'll use the uh, ends of the bias to kind of help create a uniform body. We'll cut them off right there where the lead wire starts. And then we're just going to want to make a tapered body out of our thread and make sure it's really nicely smooth and tapered out leading up to that lead wire. I'm going to take two pieces of medium ultra wire. This, for this fly I'm using the copper and black and using two colors like this is pretty cool. It gives it a really segmented look. And tying it on the side gives it a wider profile from the top and a skinny profile from the side which is what you want. It makes it look like a more natural nymph. Once I have those tied in I'm going to start wrapping them up the body and you just want to make sure they're always touching and you make nice tight wraps all the way up to the lead wire. The tough part is just getting them started but once you get it started it flows pretty nicely. Once we reach our lead wire, we're going to tie off. And just helicopter those tag ends off. <clears throat> Alright, so now I'm going to tie in the flashback material. And I'm just using clear flashaboo for that, and like a magnum size. And then I'm going to take two strands of peacock curl from the upper portion of the feather. We'll just tie them in by the butt and work our way back a little bit and then wrap those forward. And tie those off right at the bead head. And peacock fibers are really delicate, so once you get them tied in nice, you can just pluck them right out. Clean it up a little bit if you have to. Okay, now for the legs, I'm going to use this uh, Indian hen back. And it's just like a soft hackle feather, really. Just a really webby feather. So I'll just select a, a feather and take a few fibers off of it use it on each side. So what I'm going to do is just take a few fibers off that feather and place them on the side and tie them in. Just 
just like that. And same thing on the other side. Just trim those butts out and fold our flash back over. All right, we'll just whip finish that. And the final touch, which is optional, is to just add a little bit of uh, UV resin right on top to make that flashback pop out and to uh, give the fly a little bit more durability. So we'll just put a little drop there and kind of spread it out. It covers up our thread wraps and works on the bead a little bit. And cure it with light. Alrighty, that pretty much does it for the two-tone Copper John. It's a really heavy fly that you can use in faster water or in like a nymph system as like your point fly um, to get it down quickly. So it's a really good all-purpose fly and I hope you enjoyed and we will see you next week on another Fly Tying Friday. Thanks for watching.